According to Shoichiro Watanabe, the chief technology officer of Panasonic Energy, the battery arm of Panasonic, the company will need to build four more factories in order to meet its target of expanding its annual capacity of batteries for electric vehicles EVs, by 2031. This is the first clear indication of the number of additional factories Panasonic will require. Furthermore, these comments could suggest that Japanese companies may increase their investments in the United States, following a recent agreement between the two countries that aims to provide Japanese manufacturers with greater access to U.S. EV tax credits. In May, Panasonic Energy announced its goal of increasing annual EV capacity to 200 gigawatt hours GWH, by early 2031, which is approximately four times its capacity in March of this year, with a plant in Nevada and a second one under construction in Kansas. Panasonic Energy expects the Kansas plant to raise its annual capacity to 80 gigawatt hours once operational. Watanabe stated in an interview that the company will need to build around four more factories. Although he did not provide specific details regarding locations, timelines, or investment sizes, he also mentioned the possibility of joint ventures for EV battery production, highlighting the changing landscape of such projects where battery makers are no longer solely responsible for investments. Watanabe explained that a capacity of 200 gigawatt hours is necessary to establish Panasonic as a major player. In the industry, Panasonic's focus on North America for expanding its capacity is mainly driven by the production of 4,680 batteries, the latest cells championed by Tesla CEO Elon Musk. The company previously announced plans to build at least two new factories for 4,680 battery production in North America by 2030, with Oklahoma being considered as a potential site. Watanabe emphasized that the four new plants would need support from approximately a dozen material suppliers' factories, following up local production for local consumption principle in the battery supply chain. He also stated that joint procurement with major customers could be considered taking into account tax breaks and the need to limit the carbon footprint under the U.S. Inflation Reduction Act, IRA. Watanabe